happy, happy, happy Juneteenth. I am so excited that our nation has finally decided to open up this discussion about our very mixed history and just acknowledge that this is our Independence Day. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and my godfather, who is from Hopkinsville, would take me every August 8th. I always call it N-word day. That's what people locally used to jokingly call it. But in August 8th, we would celebrate there in the middle of Kentucky. We would, not in the middle of Kentucky, near Hopkinsville, we would celebrate what's called Emancipation Day, Emancipation Proclamation. And so if you can see, Kentucky's in here, and Texas is here, we're celebrating in June 10th. And in Kentucky, people aren't even free until August. And there are people who weren't even free until well into um, the, the last century. So I'm just so excited. And I just want to just quickly recap for you. I'm 45, so I was a kid when Stevie Wonder was advocating for Martin Luther King's birthday to be a national holiday. And of course, having learned about Martin Luther King in school and paid attention to how adults spoke about him, I couldn't understand why one would have to actually advocate for such a public holiday that you would think that the president themselves would say, you know, listen, we need to acknowledge the Congress or the Senate, you know? And so on the sleeve of the album Hotter Than July that contains the song Happy Birthday where Stevie Wonder advocates for this federal holiday, you see a sig Stevie Wonder signature and you see a picture, a young picture of Martin Luther King, and you see a very short story about what he meant, I guess, to Mr. Steve Land Morris. And even as a kid, I thought, what kind of world have these people brought me into where this kind of person gets violently slayed down? And so that is just the quest in my mind. I've always wondered what kind of country do I live in that would not want to openly acknowledge and celebrate Emancipation Proclamation and the freedom of its slaves alongside July 4th. Alongside, I mean, I read the, uh, you know, Frederick Douglass's address about July 4th as a kid, and I knew that this man was an abolitionist, a feminist, um, was into equity and social justice, even before I could put those labels to it. And so, but as a kid, as I said, I, I thought, what kind of world and my end where we as the black people go over and celebrate emancipation in our little corner of the country, in our little corner of the state. And I appreciate that we have this safe space because I love to be around just black people. However, why isn't that our national holiday? And finally, we're here.